Hello, I'm Simon Whistler. You're watching Top 10's Net, and in the video today, we're looking at the top 10 fascinating facts about black holes. Number 10. The three types of black holes. The first type of black hole is called a stellar black hole, and they are the smallest of the trio. They are created when a star that is larger than our sun collapses and continues to fall in on itself. While stellar black holes are relatively small, they are incredibly dense. For example, three times the mass of the sun can be packed into an area that is the size of a city on Earth. It is believed that there are about a few hundred million stellar black holes in our galaxy. Right on the other side of the spectrum are supermassive black holes. Researchers aren't sure how they are spawned, but their radius is about the size of the sun, and their masses are billions of times greater than the sun. It is believed that they are at the center of galaxies, including our own. Finally, intermediate black holes are mid-sized black holes. It is believed they are formed when there is a chain reaction collision of stars that are in a cluster. Researchers weren't even sure that these existed until one was discovered in 2014. Number 9. What do they look like? Black holes can't be observed because nothing, not even light, can escape from their boundaries, which are known as event horizons, because the gravity is just so strong. What we can observe is gas when it falls into a black hole because it is heated up, which causes the gases to glow. If we had telescopes or satellites to see a black hole up close, it would look like a rotating disk with a black hole in the middle. Number 8. Colliding Black Holes On September 14, 2015, twin laser interferometer gravitational waves Wave Observatory LIGO detectors picked up a small chirp from space. It turns out that the chirp was a collision 1.3 billion years ago between two black holes a billion light years away. The black holes were about 29 and 36 times the mass of our Sun. Before colliding, they circled each other, and then in a fifth of a second, they became one black hole with the mass of 62 of our suns. When they combined, some of the mass was converted to energy, and the energy emitted was gravitational waves. Waves. Gravitational waves were first theorized by Einstein, and they are a disturbance in the cosmos that could cause space-time to stretch, jiggle, and collapse, which would produce ripples of gravity. The problem was that there was no way to detect these gravitational waves, and physicists, including Einstein himself, were never really sure they existed. This discovery has already been hailed as one of the biggest scientific breakthroughs of the past century, and Stephen Hawking said that it is a key scientific moment that could change how we look at the universe. Number seven time slows down around it. If you've seen Interstellar, you'll know what happens when you travel near a black hole. Time does slow down. What is incorrect about the film is that the time dilation would not be quite that extreme. Time dilation is ultimately affected by gravity. The stronger the gravity, the stronger the time dilation. Also, time only slows down once you get near the black hole. Once you pass the event horizon, time stops altogether. Number six. What's at the center? It is believed that the very center of a black hole is a space-time curvature called singularity. As you get closer to singularity, large amounts of matter are crushed and jammed into immensely small and dense space. In fact, in singularity, matter is crushed to the point where it doesn't even have dimensions. Singularity also grows infinitely bigger the further objects travel into it. But since the insides of black holes are impossible to observe, singularity is only a theory, and some physicists even question if it exists at all. Number 5. Closest Black Holes since black holes are so hard to detect, we aren't exactly sure where the closest one is. At first, researchers believed the closest one was at the center of the Milky Way, but currently it is believed that V616 Mon in the Monoceros constellation, about 3,000 light years away, is the closest black hole. Number 4. Energy Source At first, it was believed that black holes were just energy drains, because once something crosses the event horizon, it never leaves. But in the 1970s, Stephen Hawking showed that black holes should emit power around the event horizon through a radiation known as Hawking radiation. The obvious extension is, would it be ever possible to harness that power? Well, some physicists believe that if we overcame the physical problems, it would be possible to get energy from a black hole. In 1983, a team of physicists suggested that an energy-collecting device could be dropped in close to the event horizon, and then we could simply pull it back up. It would be similar to getting water from a well with a rope and a bucket. Number three, could we create one? It goes without saying that black holes can be dangerous, so we definitely wouldn't want to make one on Earth, right? 
Well, it turns out that we can theoretically make microscopic ones that are harmless. In 2014, using Hawking radiation, researchers came close to mimicking a black hole in a lab. But at the time of this video being released, one has not yet been successfully created. Number 2. They evaporate over time in the prior entries, I mentioned Hawking radiation. This is an energy found at the boundaries of black holes. What is interesting is that this radiation also causes black holes to evaporate over long periods of time. Why they evaporate comes down to quantum theory, which suggests that visual particles pop in and out of existence all the time. When they pop into existence, a particle and an antiparticle combine, and then they disappear again. But when the two particles pop into existence near the event horizon, they don't don't cancel each other out. Instead, one falls into the black hole and the other goes off into space. Over time, these escaping particles cause the black hole to deteriorate. This means black holes die, just like everything else in the known universe. Number 1. What happens when you fall in? If you were to dive into a black hole that was the size of the Earth, your body would look like toothpaste coming out of a tube. Your body would be stretched out in what British astrophysicist Sir Martin Rees called spaghettification. Eventually, you would become a stream of subatomic particles that would swirl into the black hole. But if you were to dive into a larger black hole, say one that is the size of our solar system, then your body may be able to hold its structural integrity. If you do survive that, you'll see the curvature of space-time, and you will be able to see everything that fell into the black hole before you. At the same time, you'll also be able to see everything that will ever fall into the black hole. This means that you'll be able to see the entire history of the universe from the Big Bang to the end of time all at once. So I really hope you found that video interesting. If you did, please do give us a like below and do share this video with a friend. There are several sharing options below. And let us know in the comment section as well. well what did you think of it? We'd love to know. Also, if you did enjoy this video over there on the right or a couple of other videos, you'll probably enjoy if you enjoyed this one. And thank you for watching.